Good afternoon, uh, Phoenix Ship. So I've just done a, uh, an activating and gearing leveling up of Ghost. Now it's time for Phantom 2, which is a little bit lopsided because Sabine is someone that I actually did do something with. She's the only Phoenix I've really done anything with. The rest of them I just misread and geared to seven, except for Chopper. Um, so let's have a look at the stats on here. So what we got health is 20,061. Protection is 4695. Speed 128. Oh, it's quite a bit quicker than Ghost then. Makes sense. I'm just scrolling through these stats if they're of interest to you. Uh, I'm sure they should be of interest to me as well, but you know, it's just like which is the button that makes them go bang. That's all I'm really interested in. Make it too complicated and it just, yeah, I just can't do it. Not the prettiest of ships. Eh. So, activated and that has Increase the protection. Fair enough. They must have fired up the shields, I'm guessing. So, first things first. I can't believe all my lovely credits are going. Let's... 85 it. So that's the nice part about having, you know... Your core ships kind of where they are you just accrue the the credits for, for a while um so stats wise uh health's increased now to thirty thousand. the rest of the stats don't think have changed that much i could be wrong i'll have to look through afterwards well, that does look to be slight increases there um next thing i'm going to do is the upgrade so Upgrade into three stars. Health a small bit, protection slightly. Interesting there that speed has increased by one. And the other numbers don't look to have changed that much. And we can pop another star on there. So now up to four stars. Adds another bit of speed, so up to 130 now. I'm guessing that as we increase on the crew, that will then start to impact or bolster the the other bits. Um, let's start at the lowest. So what have we got here? Well, Phantom 2 has no protection. It has 35% chance. 30 has a 35% chance each to gain advantage, foresight, or offense up for two turns at the end of its turn. While the Phantom 2 is active, the Ghost also has this ability. Oh. Oh. <laughs> of course he does. Uh, deal physical damage to target enemy with 40% chance to grant all allies critical chance up for two turns. Deal physical damage to target enemy with 45% chance to... Yeah, yeah. The percentage is just going up. And, yeah. Now she's got three plus. She's doing well. Inflict target lock on... Target enemy for two turns with 35% chance to also inflict target lock on another random enemy. Reduce the cooldown. Oh. Four more. That could be interesting. Inflict target lock on it. Right. So we're here. 
because obviously I can't I can't do the the seventh one. Inflict target lock on target enemy for two turns with a 50% chance to also inflict target lock on another random enemy. All right. And then what's the kit on the ship then? Uh, deal physical damage to target enemy with a 50% chance to gain stealth for two turns. physical damage to target enemy with a 75% chance to gain stealth for two turns. Cool. And gains 2% evasion for each active rebel ally. Additionally, any time Ghost receives a debuff or is critically hit, Phantom 2 gains foresight and taunt until the next time it evades. Okay. Alright, so that is my Phantom, well my ship maxed as far as I can until the crew allow me to improve it. I'm not sure how, how fast I'm going to rush to improve the crew but they're there, they're there, they're there, yeah okay. Well, that's enough of that one. All right, till later on. Um, yeah, Phoenix ships activated. Bye for now.